let us do a quick recap of all that we covered in this session. We first discussed what are debentures, what are debentures, debentures are loan issued to the public. They carry a fixed rate of interest, they are redeemable, interest is a charge against profits and debenture holders are lenders of the company. We also compared shares, equity shares with debentures. Largely basic difference is that a shareholder is an owner of a company with voting rights, whereas debenture holder is a lender, no voting rights, no control as such, but they are entitled to a fixed rate of interest and they are usually redeemable after a period of time, whereas equity shares are repaid only on liquidation. What are the features of debentures? The other features of debentures, like I said, they carry a fixed rate of interest. Interest is a charge against profits. They are redeemable. We then discussed some of the features of the debentures. Debentures are loans, carry a fixed rate of interest. Interest is charged against profits. They are usually redeemable. They are usually secured. They may be listed on a stock exchange. They may be issued at par premium or discount. They may also be redeemed at par premium or discount. What are the types of debentures? You, we may have redeemable or irredeemable debentures. We may have registered or bearer debentures, that is depending on the transferability. We may have convertible and non-convertible debentures, convertible to shares and not convertible. We may have secured and unsecured debentures, though debentures are usually secured. And the security may be a specific charge or it may be a floating charge, a general charge on all the assets of the company. Usually debentures are secure, usually debentures are redeemable and usually debentures may be non-convertible. We may also have a first mortgage and second mortgage debenture. First mortgage, those are the debenture holders who will get preference of repayment in case of winding up of the company. The second mortgage debentures will be paid only after the first mortgage debentures are paid off. Then we went on to discuss the accounting entries on issue and redemption of debentures. Accounting entries on issue of debentures is basically bank account debit to debentures. If they are issued at par, bank to debentures to securities premium if they are issued at a premium and bank account debit, discount account debit to debentures if they are issued at a discount. However, the terms of issue of debentures always contain also the terms of redemption and if this redemption is at a premium, mind you, when redemption is at a premium, it's lost to the company because the company has to repay more than the face value of the debenture. So at the time of issue, if the company is aware of the terms of redemption, then such loss, if debentures are to be redeemed at a premium, such loss is provided for at the time of issue itself. So besides our basic entries that we just discussed, when the shares, when the debentures are issued at par premium or discount, in addition, we have one more entry, loss on issue of debenture account debit to premium on redemption of debentures. However, though debentures are not usually redeemed at a discount, even if they are, we do not account for any profits which may arise. We do not recognize profits which may arise in future. Therefore, at the time of issue itself, we account for any loss that is expected at the time of redemption. These were with respect to issue of debentures for cash. However, debentures may also be issued for consideration other than cash. 
So it may be for the purchase of a business, for the purchase of some assets, etc. In such case also, debentures may be issued at par premium or discount. In order to find out, in, in order to find out the number of debentures, we normally divide the purchase consideration by the issue price of a debenture and arrive at the number of debentures. Next, we went on to do issue of debentures as collateral security. This is when debentures are issued in addition to a security which has been offered against a loan taken by the company. Such debentures are not really exercisable. They are retained by the lender, by the bank who has given money and they would be exercised only if the company defaults in the repayment of the loan. No accounting entry need be passed. Only a note in the notes to accounts, in the notes to the balance sheet would suffice. Alternatively, if an entry is passed, we debit debenture suspense account and credit debenture account. So like a contra and both sides, it appears on both sides of the balance sheet. Mind you, no interest is payable on these debentures because these debentures are still not exercisable. Interest is payable by the company only on the loan which it has taken and issued debentures as collateral security. We also discussed the treatment of discount on issue of debentures, discount or loss on issue of debentures. This discount includes not only the discount on issue of debentures, also the premium which is payable on redemption, which is expressed as loss on issue of debentures account debit to premium on redemption of debentures. Finally, we touched upon the accounting entries with respect to interest on debentures, where we had a gross interest less the TDS payable and the net amount which is paid to the debenture holders. We also understood two other concepts, interest accrued and due, which is shown along with debentures and interest accrued but not due, which is shown as a part of current liability. This would cover our entire discussion on company accounts issue of debentures. Thank you.